This video covers managing commands and personalizing Fluency Direct. Fluency Direct already has many useful commands built in. Commands are organized by groups, including a group for your custom commands. They are voice activated and can be used while dictating in Epic or the speech box. To view available commands, click on the control bar and select Commands. Select a group and click the Add button in the top right corner to create custom commands. The two main types of commands in Fluency Direct are text and key. Text snippets and templates may be saved as text commands. Key commands recreate keyboard strokes and actions. For best results, commands should be saved in the appropriate group. When creating key commands, Fluency captures every keystroke you make. Ignore what you see as you type. What appears in the box will not be words, but representations of those keystrokes. Lowercase letters will appear here as uppercase, and uppercase letters will show the word shift in front of them. It is imperative that you type correctly, as any extraneous keystrokes will corrupt the command. If you make an error, clear the Simulate Pressing box by clicking on its X and start over. Additional steps can be added to commands. Comments are not visible. It is often helpful to insert pauses in multiple step commands. Begin the command name with an action verb. Click OK to save your command. Keyboard shortcuts can be saved as commands as well. Text snippets can be saved as commands by selecting text from a note or the speech box. Say, Open Speech Box, and then dictate, type, or paste the desired text. Save This Text opens the Add a Command box containing the selected snippet. Name your new command and click OK, then close the speech box. Repetitive tasks may be saved as text commands also. Saving your signatory closing is easy. Unrecognized words may be added to the dictionary. Select the word and say, Add to Dictionary. It is very important to select the appropriate category before you save. Remember, every command name must start with an action verb. You can create custom templates as text commands as well. Fluency Direct allows the use of straight brackets to create editable fields as placeholders within text commands. There are field selection buttons on the mics that will move the cursor to the next or previous field. Your new commands are ready to use. Click where you want the transcription to appear and speak the name of the command. Insert Close. Pressing the Next Field button jumps the cursor and highlights the next field. Insert Release Consent. Press the Next Field button on your mic. Insert Signature. Terms may be added to the dictionary at any time with the command Open Dictionary or by clicking on the Fluency Direct control bar and selecting Dictionary. Only add words which would not be in the baseline dictionary. It is not necessary to add general terms such as purulent or atelectasis. These types of terms already exist in the M modal dictionary. Enter a word into the search box to see if it's already in the dictionary. Typing the first few letters is often enough. When you add a word, Fluency will suggest a pronunciation by displaying phonemes. Click on Change for editing options. Choose the appropriate tab to edit the spoken form or to record your pronunciation. Spoken form allows you to associate the sound of the verbalized word with the written form. For example, proper names may not sound as they appear written. It is recommended that the pronunciation is modified as necessary with your dictionary items. For best results in transcription, add new words into the appropriate category. A new search reveals the word is now in the dictionary. Abbreviations allow you to shorten oft-repeated words or phrases. 
Many abbreviations and acronyms are already published. Enter the abbreviation, for example, UK, in the original box, and the expanded text as the replacement, in this case, University of Kentucky Chandler Medical Center. You can map some buttons on your device to your liking through device button mappings on the menu. The computer keyboard tilde key is listed first, then the handheld and mobile mic buttons. Scroll down to the four mobile mic buttons M1 through M4. Click on the name of the button you wish to map and select an icon for it from the first drop-down. Select the Command radio button and then pick a command from the drop-down. Text formatting options are available from the menu as well. Use this to set your preferences, such as having numbers at the beginning of sentences spelled out, having measurements abbreviated, using 24-hour time, etc. Additional settings are found by holding down the Shift key while selecting Formatting from the menu. Fluency defaults to inserting two spaces after periods. You may change this to one from the additional options. Online help is available by selecting it from the menu. Context-sensitive help can be found by clicking on the question mark on each menu item box. This training has been brought to you by UK Healthcare IT Education. Thanks for watching. Our service desk is open 24-7. Call 323-8586 anytime.